Hey guys, let's um let's try to tackle this hanger bracket real quick. I just actually um uh, sorry about that. Just actually um got finished a class with some students who were having trouble with it. So let's go over it quickly. I'm gonna kind of move through it pretty fast and try to um cover most of the ground. So um I'm gonna go ahead and get started. So always make sure you check your workspace units. Um, it's always advisable to check the workspace units. Uh, make sure you're in millimeters, um, grams, uh, two decimal points. Um, and so everything's here. I'm just getting started there. Okay, so, <clears throat> excuse me. So I'm going to start my first sketch on the front uh, plane. And, and, and like I said, I'm going to try to move through pretty quick. I generally use a construction line reference uh, in each direction from the or, origin. And so I'm just going to put that there. It's not absolutely necessary, but I like to do that. You know, I'm in the habit of doing that, so I will. Um, <clears throat> taking in note the origin on this sketch as we get started. I'm going to actually start my sketch here. I'm going to get a lot. I'm going to activate just the line tool. And I'm going to go there. I'm going to click there. Not sure why that doesn't activate. I'm going to click there. I'm going to click um, here. And it happened to me again. I don't know why, but anyway. I'm going to click here, and I'm going to click there, okay? <clears throat> I'm going to click there again. I'm going to make sure I have a line here. It just appeared that I did not. Okay, so I do have a line there. And I'm going to quickly uh, move to my arc um, icon. I'm going to click on tangent arc, and I'm going to click at the end of this line, and create a create a um, an arc shape um, line in that direction and click at that point okay <clears throat> so so far this is my um, the beginning of my sketch profile okay so I'm going to begin to dimension that and I think the dimensions here if I'm not um, I hope I'm Right, I think here it's 125. <clears throat> okay, enter. Um, I think from here to this point is 25. Enter. Um, from this point, this point is 50. Enter. And the arc itself is radius of 185 Enter. okay so this is the sketch um the beginning sketch we're going to start with so everything's in place i'm just going to keep moving right along so i'm going to click the green i'm i'm satisfied with the sketch everything's defined i'm going to click the green i'm going to set in the isometric so you guys can see it <clears throat> and I'm going to begin to extrude, and I'm going to add material. I'll open that up so you can see. I'm going to extrude here, and you can see it already jumps out to the default dimension. That dimension um, is going to be 40. Enter. So how did I get that dimension? Well, from the drawings that were provided, I can see from this drawing that the back edge here has a dimension of 18 for this space, 11 on each side. So that's 40. So I'm going to, uh, I'm going to implement a dimension of 40 for the width of that, um, the depth of that piece. Okay. So I'm going to green check. So here we are. This is our first um, piece here, and I can, you know, kind of show you 
what it looks like. So let's create another sketch. And I want you to pay particular attention to this particular sketch. So I'm going to sketch. Um, <clears throat> and I want to create that on the top plane. So I'm going to, you know, click here. I'm going to go into normal. And now I want to begin to look at my cutaway shape. And how do I uh, achieve that? And um, let me see if I can just move that in just a little bit. So I'm going to I'm going to activate my circle tool. I'm going to grab a circle, <clears throat> place that circle here. OK, and I'm going to I, I have the dimensions of that circle. That circle is from. I'm going to grab my dimension tool, and that circle is from the edge here um, uh, to this point. And that is 73. Enter. Okay. Um, and I want to center that circle. It may already be centered, but just to make sure, I'm going to create a construction line. I'm going to hover along this line until I reach the midpoint and I'm going to create a I'm going to create a construction line right through the midpoint. Okay? Well, so I'm a little off there, so I want to make sure that my circle is centered with the midpoint and so the way that i'm going to do that i'm going to deselect anything that was selected i'm going to go here i'm going to select that point and i'm going to select this line okay remember the construction line is midway and i want to i want to center my circle um, on the midway point so i'm going to go up here and i'm going to click coincident Okay, so now you can see my circle is centered with the midpoint of that. So, um, and the dimension again is from this edge to the center. So, that diameter of that circle is shown um, because the radius is shown as a 12. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna um, dimension this circle according to the diameter. I'm gonna dimension that circle at 24. Okay, that will be double the radius. I'm going to enter that. Okay, <clears throat> so still working at it. I'm going to deactivate my dimension tool. I'm going to grab my line tool, bring my line tangent with this circle. And I'm just going to create a line here to the edge. I'm going to do this. Okay. Um, I'm going to reference reference this point. Let's see if I can get sort of a reference line. Um, I'm going to, I'll just click here. And I'll go here. And I'm going to reference that point to see if I can get it. Kind of tangent. Okay, so I'm going to click it there. Click it off. Click that line off there. Um, you can see that is they're not even, but that's okay. We're okay with that. Um, so far so good. Um, what I'd like to do is to get my trimmers. Okay, I'm gonna use that here. I'm going to trim that portion and I'm going to trim that portion. Okay. So far, I'm going to deactivate the trimmer. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually select this line and that line. I'm going to go here. I'm going to drop down box and I'm going to go down to equal and I'm going to click on equal. That makes these lines great okay so that's pretty good there uh, so far so good I'm happy with that 
I'm going to see if I can get my dimension tool. And let's see, can I, what kind of relationship? Can I get a dimension here? I think the dimension here is 18. And enter. Okay, so um, I'm going to make sure that these lines are symmetric. So I'm going to deselect that tool. I'm going to take this line, that line, that line, and I'm going to drop down box again. See if I can click symmetric. Yes, that does it. But if you notice here, <clears throat> there's still a blue line here that may give me some difficulty. I'm going to open that up so you can see it. There is a blue line right on the edge there. See if I can really open that up for you to show you why. And that's because from my drawing, one of those lines is really not coincident with the other. So what I want to do is I want to make sure nothing else is selected. I want to come here and I want to select that blue line and I want to open it up a little more. And I want to select this black line there as well. And I want to go back in. I'm going to select the blue line. And I'm trying to, I, what I'm going to do, I'm going to have to do it like this. Let's say I'm going to select, the blue line is selected. And I'm going to select the edge here. And then I'm going to go here and I'm going to hit coincident. Uh, did it? Okay, so something did not work here. So let me just, let me try this again. I'm going to take that off. Um, deselect that. And trying to make sure I get this right. And so I want to select the blue line. and Because I know what's happening here. And I want to select the black line as well. It's just not allowing me to let me open it all the way up. Sometimes you have to open these drawings up so you can make sure you're selecting exactly what you want. So I'm going to select both of those lines. And this time I'm going to hit coincident. And you can see they both are now coincident with one another. So that's great. So I'm going to hit F to fit the page again. And you can see my design is fully defined okay at this point i want to continue so i'm going to hit the green box and i'm going to isometric for you guys okay and i'm going to open it up so you can see i want to extrude this um through okay so i'm going to hit extrude i want to remove material don't forget click remove this is the area i want to extrude so i'm going to select that at the face okay and you see this here, um, remove. I'm going to merge with all, and um, and there it is. Okay, so I should be. I'm going to click the green check, and nope. oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I did not. Let me go back in. Let me edit that. Sorry, I forgot that we need to through all. Okay, that should be a through all, and uh, that should do it. And let's look at it. Let's see if that's it. I'm not sure. There it is. Okay. So you guys should be with me on this. Okay. So far. Okay. So uh, a couple of other things I'd like to do. Um, one is I'd like to establish the whole point. So I'm going to create another sketch. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I can just select that part. Right click on it and new sketch. Okay, into normal. Okay, and I'm going to use this point icon here. Okay, I'm going to grab that point and I'm just going to place that point anywhere. Okay, I'm going to place that point right there. I'm going to also get my line tool, create a construction line. Okay, again, follow this line down to the midpoint, midpoint right there. Going to create a construction line. 
center. And because I actually, no, I'm sorry. Don't have to do that. Don't need that. I forgot there were dimensions for this point. So I'm going to deselect all of that. Don't really need that. Get the dimensions. And I think the dimensions from this point to the edge is 20. And let me enter. And the, let me bring this down. The dimension from this edge, make sure you, make sure you are selecting the line. Okay. So I'm going to click there and click the point. And the dimension for that is 109. Okay. Enter. Okay. So now we have what we want. F to fit. Okay. So there we are. Everything's fully defined. No issues with that. And I'm just going to click that right there and we're in good shape okay didn't actually need this construction line but it does us no harm it's okay it's right there we can that's no problem um and so now i'm going to actually put this in the isometric we have the point here and now i want to use i'm going to open it up a little bit i want to use my tool um um the whole tool so we're going to go here and we're going to hover and we see the whole tool. I'm going to click on that box. And you see what drops down is a, um, uh, a tool that allows us to create a, uh, a screw hole here. Uh, generally speaking, we're going to create a counter bore. Um, I, my, uh, my dimensions and whatever have defaulted to this because this is the correct information for this particular hole. So the standard is ANSI, A-N-S-I, uh, American uh, National Standards or whatever. Um, the hole type is clearance. The size is number eight. The fit is normal, A-S-M-E. And the depth will be 20 millimeters. So I'm just going to take my pointer and I'm just going to click on that hole and it's going to create that for me. And you can take a look at that hole in there. And that's what we have, a counter bore um, with a depth of 20 millimeters. And I'm going to click the green check there. And so far, so good. We're looking good. The only other thing I want to do is I want to fill it. I'm going to get my fill it to, I'm sorry, before I do that, let's create another sketch. Let's create another sketch. So I'm going to hit the sketch. I want to create a sketch on this side right here. Okay. Normal. I'm going to get activate my circle tool, okay? And I'm going to start two circles in this space, okay? One, and I'm going to put one out here somewhere, okay? That's two circles, okay? And so I have that. I want to get my dimension tool, and I'm going to quickly, uh, the center of that circle to the edge here, okay? And that's 50. Uh -huh. And I'm going to enter, okay? Um, and I'm going to bring this down just a little bit. And the center of that circle to the edge here is, I think, 18. Okay? And the center of this circle from this line is, um, I think, 14. Enter. And the center of this circle, I'm going to click there, sorry, and here is uh, just about there, 18. Enter. So the only thing I need now is the diameter of both circles. Diameter of this circle is 12. Enter. And the diameter of this circle is 14. Okay, so we're ready. We are ready to cut. So since this is the last thing I've worked to worked on, I'm just going to move to extrude, and extrude's going to select the circles I just worked on, and we're going to make this cut. We want to remove material. Okay, so we want that going in the up, and we want that through all. Okay, so through all, and that's 
when I need to. That's great. I'll show it to you guys. So I have my holes all the way through. I've got all my holes that I need for this portion. Okay, let me open that up for you so you guys can see it. And you should have a design so far that looks like this. So one more step, guys, one more step. I want to, well, a couple more steps, but let me just go here. I'm going to get my fillet tool, okay? And my default radius uh, measurement is correct there. So I want to move this so you can see it. And what I'm going to do, I think there are eight um, fillets, but because we're working on one half of the part, it's going to be one, two, three, and four, just on the edges. So I'm just going to get that little edge right there, okay? I'm going to get that edge, okay? And if you need to manipulate it a little bit so you can see it better, just all you want is the edge. You don't want a face in that edge, okay? And so we've completed those fillets on all four edges, and I'm going to hit the green check. So at this point, guys, I think we pretty much have what we need. Last, um, last step for this particular part is to mirror this part. So I'm going to go up here, my icon, mirror. I'm going to click on that. It asks me, entities to mirror. Okay, so I'm going to select part one. I want to mirror the entire part. So that's part one there. And then it's what plane am I going to mirror this on? So I'm going to click in the red box and I'm going to kind of shift that around a little bit. And I'm going to click right on the face of this. Remember, this is the plane I'm mirroring right there. So I'm just going to click on that face. Okay. And there we are. So let's, let's bring it into play so you can see. So here we have the completed part, um, which is great. And let me get the um, let me move the planes out of the way so you guys can let me hide these planes so you can see the actual part. And there we are. So that that part is completed. That is the hanger bracket. OK, so one more step, guys. Let's go in and right click on part one here. OK, go up. Want to assign a material to this part. And I think this part the material designated to sign is copper. So I'm gonna start typing it in, copper. And it, here it is here, guys, copper. Not um, not this one, but copper here. I'm gonna assign that copper material and I click there. I'm gonna go to the right hand corner here uh, and you see sort of like a display mass properties. I'm gonna click on that. I'm going to go back and click on part one again, and you can see what it changes to uh, a selected part. And I'm going to bring that out a little bit. And you can see my mass, my mass properties value in grams is 2572.92. And you can always check that answer here. I'm going to check that answer. And it's 2572.92. I'm going to put that in. And that's 2572.92. Keep in mind, this is located in Solid Professor here. And I'm just going to click that, check your answer. And congratulations, you got the right answer. So that's great. So when you see that, you can be proud that you actually got through this drawing um, without much difficulty, OK? And you got the right answer. So hopefully that helps a lot, guys. Here it is. Um, I asked my students to uh, submit their drawings, uh, a screenshot of their drawings with the mass properties window open and the title of that drawing with their initials located in the title. And so, guys, it looks like, it actually looks like, um, Everything's done. I'm actually sitting in the back room office of my classroom. So uh, hopefully this helps those of you who are trying to complete this drawing. So have a great day. Thank you for chiming in.